Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today we're looking at another Excel feature that can help you with your modeling. And uh, namely, we're gonna look at the checkbox and how easy it is to set it up so that you can have, let's say, categories that you can switch on and off independently within your uh, budget. Uh, it, it's really good for, for all kinds of uh, assumptions that are not mutually exclusive. So you don't wanna be able to just select one as with the Dropbox. You wanna be able to select multiple of those and uh, it's a really visual way to switch them on and off. Before we get started, um, you probably already noticed that we launched Magnimetrics, and I'm extremely happy that uh, after so much work and effort, we're finally able to launch. It's still uh, in beta. It has quite a limited number of features, but we're working hard to bring in more features. So now's the time to sign up for free and uh, test the platform out and maybe even give us some feedback on what you wanna see next. Let's go ahead, fire up Excel and get started. I have here some mock data that pretty much a list of projects in different departments. It lists if the project is approved or not. So true for approved, false for, for uh, projects that are not uh, yet approved and then I have the amount uh, of capex required to fulfill this project as well as the period and I have the month here on the side taken out with the month uh, formula. What I want to do here is I want to build a capex summary and uh, I want this to be by department and I want to show it the months as uh, separate columns can do is we can add our department here, make this white, bold it. And uh, one way to do it is to like go ahead and copy paste every single one of those that's uh, different or we can do it as we used to do it before. Just add a pivot table, drop the department and just copy those. Or we can also use the new formulas let's say unique, and uh, I can grab the whole array here from second one to the bottom, and it will give me a spilled formula. And I can even sort that out. And now it's sorted. Actually, as this is not dynamic data, I would paste this, copy and paste it as values because I wanna add a total at the bottom. What I want here is I want my month. So this will be one it's formatted as a number. And uh, the next one just be this one plus one. Copy the formatting over here and go all the way to 12. And then you can also add a total column. Just format this at the bottom. And that's the format of our summary. So what we can do now is we can sum the amount and we can start adding um, our different criteria. So the criteria range one will be my department here and I want this to match my department here. The next one is going to be my month and I want this to match the month and that's it edit this formula. So we want all the references to the columns in the mock data to be locked. So I'm gonna use F4, F4, and F4. And uh, for my department, I want this to be able to move down the rows, but I don't want it to be able to move uh, on the columns. So I'm just gonna fix the column. And for my month, I want the exact opposite. I want it to switch the column, but not switch the row. I'm gonna fix the row. Okay, if I now grab this, control R to copy it to the side and control down to copy it down. And now we can add our totals on the side here. Let's bold those and also our totals here, bold those. Okay, 74 million. If we check the total here, it's exactly 74 million. However, what if I want to show only the approved project? So we still have a bunch of projects that are not approved. They still need to be approved. So 
What if I want to see not the total amount of capex that we're planning, but what portion of it is approved? One way to do it would be to go ahead and edit this formula and just add a requirement that the approved column, I'm going to fix that with F4 is true. And this would give me, if I copy it right and to the side, this would give me 35 million of approved projects. Let's check if that's correct. Filter, filter true, 35.3 million. Okay, our formula is calculated correctly, but now if we want to go back, we still need to uh, remove this and it's uh, just not a really nice way to present the data. What I want to do is I want to use the uh, checkbox form control. I'm going to go to the developer tab and uh, if you don't have the developer tab, right click anywhere here, customize the ribbon and make sure you have the tick mark here. Insert, form controls, checkbox. I'm just going to put it here. Now let's edit it. Approved only. Extend it a bit. Position it and this is our checkbox. Now let's make it work. I'm going to add a new sheet. I'm going to rename it to config and uh, we can Hide this one at the end. Approved only. And let's just give this some kind of a color. And I would usually have like a red go out here that this is not to be touched. Right now, if we're clicking on this, it's just checking it and unchecking it. If you right click, you can edit it. It's going to go to format control. And I'm going to set a cell link. And this cell link is going to be in my config tab. Okay, I'm gonna click somewhere to the side to deselect it. And now if I check it, this here becomes true. And if I uncheck it, it becomes false. What we can now do is we can add our third criteria range to be our column D. I'm gonna fix that with F4. And I want this to be our uh, approved only. And we're going to fix that with F4 as well. The problem now is that if I copy this to the side and to the bottom, right now I don't have the approved only checkbox. And you see that I'm only getting 39 million, which is all the ones that have false as a status here for the approved, because in my config, my approved only is false. If I check that, I'm going to see everything that's approved. The problem now is that every time I uncheck that, I only get the unapproved projects and I want to be seeing everything here. The easiest way to do that is to just wrap this sum if in an if formula. So I just cut the whole thing. I'm going to say if my config f4 equals true, then give me this. Otherwise, give me the same formula. Just gonna do it like that. I know it doesn't make sense, but uh, let's edit it here. So if this is true, just show me everything where the D column are status and uh, I can either link it or just type in true here. If it's not true, then just give me everything up to here so we don't need this additional um, additional criteria range. Copy that to the side, copy it down, and now we get the whole 74.5 million. And if we check approved only, we only get the 35 million of approved project. So what we did is just zoom in a bit. So we're checking if our config is true. And if it is, we're summing the amount from the mock data where our department is the current department, the month is the current month, and our approved status is equal to true. And if our config is false, which means that we haven't checked um, the, the switch here, then we're only doing the sum ifs as we originally did without considering the 
the column from the mock data, the approved status. Pretty easy, and you get a really like nicer looking functionality. Of course, you can do that with a cell where you type true or false, or you, you have a drop down with uh, one or two or whatever, but it's just much easier to, to, to have it like that. And it's uh, much more intuitive for the user of the file that you're preparing. So what, what I usually do is I would combine those with like drop down. So let's say I might have a drop down that would pick different scenarios. And then I might have a few checkboxes that would add specific adjustments on top of the scenarios. A drop down is a good option when you're picking between different scenarios that are mutually exclusive. But checkboxes are a great way to add things on top that are not mutually exclusive. So you can either have like three separate adjustments added on top with three checkboxes. There you have it, guys. Another really easy way to, to give the users more versatility when you're building Excel models. Don't forget to test Magnimetrics. It's completely free and uh, it's probably going to stay free for quite some time for the beta users at least. So the first link in the description below is where you can learn more. And uh, yep, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Welcome to another episode in Excel to, um, <clears throat> okay, thank you guys, <clears throat> subscribe if you're not already, and maybe like. Also, <clears throat> how it works, but, uh, <clears throat>